वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्त बिंदु समन्वित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नित्यानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदा मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरु वश्य के पास सिंधु बेवच परितान पावन भवैष्णवीभ्यो नमो नम मुक करोति वाचा लंग पंगु लंग हेत गिर यम हंग बंदी परमाधव बृंदा हुई तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्ण भक्ति पदे देवी सत्यवत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुचनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर धेय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरुंजनुत शरण्यीतात्म पुनत बाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरण यदपल्लवनकचंदमि छटाय विस्फुजीत किमी गोपवधूशिवदर्शि पूर्णागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कि श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री आदित गाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंदु श्रीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री आदित गाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंदु हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनका बदात संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलाशताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा अवतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनका बदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पारो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा अवतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाकज सुरासुरवंदो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दधा भावान सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटा कलापम 
गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथम बागीश वदने लक्ष्मीर्जश च वक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबीर तम निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अनर्पित चरिंग चिरात करुणावतीर्ण कलु समर्पयत मुन्नत उज्जल रसाम सभक्ति श्रिय हरि पुरट सुंदर दुति कदम्ब सन्दीपिता सदा हृदय कंदरे स्फुत शिशची नंदन अनर्पित चरी चिरात करुणय अवतीर्ण खलु समर्पयत मुन्नत उज्जल रसाम सभक्ति श्रिय हरि पुरट सुंदर दुति कदम्ब सन्दीपिता सदा हृदय कंदरे स्फुत भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट दैट रागानुगा भजन रूपानुगा भजन दैट इज आवर एक्चुअल टारगेट अल्टीमेट टारगेट बट in uh, in this bonded condition present bonded condition of ours in this present bonded condition of ours it is not at all possible to get that maybe we can't get ahead in our rupanug raganug bhajan gaudiya goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramahans jagat guru told that raganug bhajan rupanug bhajan that is the final target of ours but in this bonded condition it is not at all possible to get into that condition in the bonded condition it is not at all possible for us to attain that shila bhakti shila sachidanand bhakti mo thakur actually also told this point rajani sadinata ratna nani rag marge korai pravesh that vidhi marg ratna jane that in order to just following the vidhi marg the rules and regulations of vidhi marg under the guidance of uh, pure guru vishnu when we are following them that when we will be following the vidhi marg under the guidance of pure guru vishnu if we will be going in the vidhi marg slowly steadily slowly steadily that this kind of vidhi is there this vidhi in order to just follow that vidhi particular vidhi that kind of natural priti and inclination that kind of attraction natural attraction will automatically get inside our heart it is an automatic factor that's why bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking that swadin swadin that means liberty why it is speaking because in vidhi mark there is actually some controlling process is there in vidhi mark there is a lot of restrictions regarding a bhajan in vidhi mark there is a lot of rules and regulations strict rules and regulations and in rag mark this kind of restriction is not at all there that is rag is the actual just by getting attracted towards the prem of bhagwan that kind of activities what he will be doing that is the actual rag mark by anurag when you will be serving krishna where actually there is no uh, kind of uh, forcible things are there automatically you will be serving bhagwan that uh, automatically when you will be just serving bhagwan that kind of prema you are feeling automatic attraction towards bhagwan that automatically you will get inside your heart if you will be following exactly pure guru vaishnav anugatya you are doing and you will be just following them 100% and going ahead in bhajan that's why shila bhakti mo thakur ji speaking that shadinata ratna dane rag marge korai 
गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज एज नॉट दन आरती दर्शन सो ही विल जस्ट बिकम फॉलन नो दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार इज टोटली रॉन्ग दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार इज टोटली रॉन्ग आरती दर्शन इज वी नीड टू डू दैट बिकॉज वी आर इन प्रेजेंटली इन अ बॉन्डेड कंडीशन बिकॉज आरती दर्शन इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट प्रैक्टिस आरती दर्शन दैट स्लोली स्टेटली दैट प्रीवियस दैट वेरी बैड प्रैक्टिस विज वाई यूज टू डू विच इज टोटली मटीरियल दैट आई विल बी जस्ट गेटिंग अप एट एट ओ क्लॉक अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड सिक्स ओ क्लॉक दैंड वेन दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस आई विल बी जस्ट गेटिंग रिड ऑफ दैट बैड प्रैक्टिस and by slowly steadily when i'll be doing the darshan of aarti darshan and doing aarti kirtan and after doing parikrama at aarti slowly steadily it will become natural in our life now it is one kind of uh, trouble for me nowadays presently but after some times that this kind of uh, chesta or what uh, the efforts you are putting that the actual efforts what you are putting putting at actually it will just get converted into that will actually get converted into practice that's why bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking to us swadhinata means that there is actually no kind of strict rules and regulations at all i have already told it previously as well that for pure guru vaishnav when you will be doing more uh, putting more rules and restrictions on them for it will become one kind of bondage in the way of uh, their actual bhajan it will become barrier in the way of their actual bhajan you have an understand what i'm speaking that pure guru vishnu who are in on the pathway of rag mark that if we will be just uh, uh, just uh, putting them forcibly in the vidhi mark then definitely it is not at all good for them why because it is natural bhajan bhajan is all the time going for them but those who are kapat people that rupanuga raganuga bhajan they are just uh, uh, speaking themselves rupanuga raganuga acharya it is definitely it is not good for them at all that is not good for them at all prabodhana saraswati pad also has told this same point to in front of us has he has put that prabodhana saraswati goswami also has just told this point in front of us that this restrictive kind of restriction which is there it is uh, for a pure devotee it is not at all good whatever uh, different different kind of um, uh, material uh, bondage is there if you will be just putting all radharani and sakis into restriction you don't need to go now if you more restriction you will put to them it will just become a barrier in their actual seva they can't do actual seva it will just become a barrier for them so whatever a kind of restriction you will be putting them in the way how much we have to do that slowly steadily we uh, it will become natural in our life by practice and automatically we will be feeling this point that that we have to do this kind of process we have to follow in order to uh, do krishna seva so that krishna can get satisfied this kind of bhav you will definitely get inside your heart naturally this kind of ball will get manifested inside your heart the actual secrecy of bhajan kya hai what is that the actual secrecy of bhajan is that whatever is the desire of bhagwan what is the actual desire of bhagwan who knows that that in order to just your desire you just need to get reconciled with the heart and or harmonize with the will of bhagwan so that my life Oh, all my life should go in that that my millions and millions of life are going like that only and just by not putting any effort for krishna bhajan it so that's why we are actually just losing our time and wasting our time so whatever is just by the ichha and kripa of bhagwan if our uh, if our desire will also get reconciled then that will be the topmost anand what you will get in your life that is the topmost anand vishay you will be getting in your life that what is the actual uh, desire of krishna that is my my desire also that is the actual approval of krishna so i just need to follow the actual desire of krishna in bengali it is written in the shastra kirtan it is written in the shastra mein likha hua hai in the shastras it is written there ichhai jeev koti bancha kare krishna ichha bina nahi phal nahi dhare krishna ichha bina phal nahi that from your own side the jeevas are putting different different kind of five years plan that uh, five five years plan they are making for themselves 
all the time that the money will come from where i'll be just putting it in lic and from where there i will be getting money and maybe i'll be just putting in post office and here also whatever the money i'll getting from job definitely i am going to use that in future that is five years plan they are making they're so foolish number one actually but they don't know the actual point that whether it is approval of bhagwan or not or what to do bhagwan where we actually don't see bhagwan so only wife and child they can see but bhagwan you can he they can't see at all so how we can understand that this is it is it is all the same that all those material people they are actually so much topmost pratyaksha but they so much so much materialistic they are that whatever they want to hear they don't want to hear whether whatever kind of pravachan you can give whatever you can speak very nice uh, words to them you can show them acharan but they have some biasness they don't want to actually understand this point at all bhagwan ka ichha bhagwan when our uh, desire will just reconcile with bhagwan's desire that is the topmost thing this actually when my wish my desire actually will just get reconciled with bhagwan that is actually called bhajan that in any condition whatever the condition is there that the actual swarup of guru vishnu the dham swarup naam swarup the actual swarup of whatever is the case it is just get it is not at all getting manifested inside our heart up till that point jab tak koi when the, no from somewhere we are getting some kind of uh, motivation uh, for ourselves uh, individually to do hari bhajan it is very much difficult whether it is rag mark whether it is vidhi mark it doesn't matter in vidhi mark also this kind of uh, idealism we just need to follow that kind of particular idealism by by which that uh, kind of motivation for to do bhajan that kind of motivation will definitely naturally get uh, uh, manifest inside our heart to do hari bhajan गुरुदेव वैष्णव वैष्णव प्योर गुरु वैष्णव आचार आचरण दैट शुड बी देयर इन साइड अवर हार्ट ओनली देन ओनली वी कैन गेट द एक्चुअल मोटिवेशन टू डू सेवा वैन विल बी डूइंग एक्चुअल सेवा एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल बी इन फॉरवर्ड मूविंग इन फॉरवर्ड दैट यू विल जस्ट गेट इन टू राग राग मार्ग यू विल बी जस्ट गेटिंग ऑन द राग पाथवे राग मार्ग एंड इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल फील अट्रैक्शन फॉर दैट it is not at all that you will be uh, forcibly putting yourself to do follow rag mark it is not like that automatically you will feel attraction to follow rag mark where at the lotus feet of gurudev and at the lotus feet of vaishnav my heart is actually not at all getting attracted so then where we will get the actual um, uh, increment in our bhajan some person actually asking prabhupad that how <coughs> our bhajan can increase in our life prabhupad actually speaking that bhakti is not at all there so what is the actual question of just uh, uh, rising your bhakti that uh, money is not at all there so so where the actual question of interest will rise you haven't taken any kind of money or so where actually you have this kind of thinking that you will get interest it is not at all possible so that's why prabhupad speaking that you don't have any bhakti so where actually you will get maturity in bhakti they don't have any confidence on lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav and you where from where you will do raganuga rupanuga bhajan where you will uh, get to do rupanuga ra, ra bhajan just you are actually having kapat bhav inside your heart but you, because you don't have any time to do bhajan you always want to serve maya devi that's it previously the first previous first mantra siddhi is the process what gurudev has done and if the gurudev is kapat then actually there is no power in the actual mantra just be careful on this point that if that guru i am taking in life that that i am already kapat so in in their uh, life also this kind of uh, thing is not at all said mantra don't have any kind of virjya or energy is not at all there no power is there so what to do you can't do anything that mantra what our gurudev has just got it into siddh condition that kind of mantra only the same mantra gurudev actually speaking to me that definitely that kind of power is there in the mantra and whatever the mantra i've got from gurudev and by body speech and mind i'll be just uh, under the guidance of gurudev that mantra i will be just uh, inside my heart 
डेफिनेटली इन साइड माई हार्ट सम काइंड ऑफ इफेक्ट विल और रिएक्शन विल कम वेन आई बी डूइंग दैट मंत्र एंड वॉट एवर मंत्र फ्रॉम यू हैव टेकन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेसिस इफ यू आर एक्चुअली टेकिंग इट फ्रॉम सम वन एंड यू आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दैट आई हैव सम काइंड ऑफ बाइसनेस एंड सम काइंड ऑफ अपराध ऑल्सो देन आफ्टर दैट गुरुदेव कैन गिव अस हरी नाम दैट मंत्र बट दिस इज माई एक्चुअल फॉल्ट सो दैट्स वाई आई कैनॉट गुरुदेव इज एक्चुअली नॉट एट फॉल्ट इन दैट फर्स्ट इज भजन क्रिया आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल दिस पॉइंट लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स भजन क्रिया जस्ट बाई गेटिंग दैट स्लोली स्टडीली दैट साधन भक्ति विल कम एंड वैन यूर साधन भक्ति इन साइड साधन भक्ति वैन ही इज बिकमिंग वैष्णव देन वैन देर इज नो अपराध एट ऑल जस्ट बाई डूइंग साधन भक्ति स्लोली स्टडली स्लोली स्टडली दैट काइंड ऑफ शुद्ध भक्ति कैन कम आफ्टर वर्ड्स so this procedure actually the actual pathway or procedure just by leaving this kind of procedure and you are just you don't have any kind of other procedure open for you and the actual vichar is that that shila rup goswami pad actually speaking about the definition of sadhan bhakti already to us what what do you mean by sadhan bhakti guru shila rup goswami pad has already told what is that साधन भक्ति भाव भक्ति एंड प्रेम भक्ति दिस इज एक्चुअली सो मच डिस्टिंगशन एंड कैट दे आर ए कैटेगराइज इन दैट साधन भक्ति वैन वी आर एक्चुअली डूइंग प्रैक्टिस ऑफ साधन जस्ट बाय आवर ओन मटीरियल माइंड जस्ट बाय आवर ओन मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल टू डू भक्ति भक्ति मीन्स एक्शन भक्ति मीन्स द एक्चुअल एक्शन वॉट यू आर डूइंग दैट वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन्स and we have material sense organs and in any condition what you want you cannot do bhajan at all but krishna bhakti raso bhavita mati jadi koi vyakti mile if some person you can meet then inside our heart if this kind of bhav is getting manifested inside our heart also that sadhya bhav who actually just uh, get getting ready to do the actual sadhan bhakti deho dui ko visite te sam pancho bhautik deho pi sachidanu rupata ata it means that krishna bhakti ras just by taking that nectar that our body and what is actually related to our body that whatever that kind of uh, top most attraction is there everything will just get uh, vanquished from your life for them for them what will happen that externally that five body of five elements is there but they will be actually having that introduction of the aprakrit transcendental world shila sani sachidanand bhakti mata ko speaking when uh, by our own material sense over we it is not at all possible to do actual hari bhajan but this bhakti devi just by doing sadhan bhakti before sadhan bhakti there is actually sadhan kriya that i have already told sadhan kriya in after when you are just getting established in sadhan bhakti then when you will be getting the actual surprising kripa that kripa for each and every material sense or girl by body speech mind false ego whatever is there you just uh, Uh, need to just uh, kick it from your heart and that kind of different kind of effect is coming that each and every material sense organ is actually getting busy to serve bhagwan automatically previously it was not at all like that previously it is not at all like like that automatically what happened just by the association of pure guru vishnu that each and every material sense organ by, by hearing the hari katha of pure guru vishnu that we are thinking of the lotus feet of sham sundar and we have that desire to go to vrindavan when we'll be getting the actual association of pure guru vishnu 
so we will be having that this different different kind of seva mood for each and every one so just by doing that when uh, by our materials material sense organs that uh, in order to do bhakti sadhan it is not at all possible but still the procedure i have told you by that procedure maybe someday you can get eligible to do definitely you will be getting eligible to do the actual bhajan that by sadhan what do you mean by sadhan sadhan just means like that only but sadhya baad you cannot just take it from the market at all nitya siddha bhav is already there inside the heart of each and every jeeva it is already there in hidden form it is already there in hidden form that kind of uh, that kind of secret bhav what is there inside the heart of jeeva it, it is just to it, it should just become in an exposed way in front of us and and sadhya bhav bhakti when sadho bhav bhakti jab kriti arthat indriyo ka when by our material sense organs that kind of realization we are getting then we can just say that it is called sadhan bhakti why because sadhan bhakti is actual natural function of the soul prabhupad used to speak this point a lot of time that bhakti is the natural function of our soul this bhakti that is the actual nitya siddha bhav of all the jeevas and that kind of thing when you are having inside the heart in the very secret form that kind of same bhava that you just need to get it in the realized state when you will be getting that that is called the sadhya in amrit prabha vasya it's already written there bhakti no thakur and bhakti jeevo ka nitya siddha bhav that is the actual nitya siddha bhav of all the jeevas bhakti ka swarup and what is the actual swarup lakshana or tathastha lakshana of bhakti bhakti ka tathastha the actual tathastha swar tathastha lakshana of the bhakti is actually the swarup lakshana and in swarup lakshana we just need to make sure each and every time that in we are actually all the time thinking that so we should not do any kind of uh, mistake and in swarup and in swarup lakshan this kind of thing is coming that we should not forget krishna for a fraction of second and whatever externally he is actually doing all kind of things material things if we will be seeing that they are doing some material things that he is doing this or he is doing that So in this way, anukure na Krishna nushilena. It means that that Radha Govind ji. It means that whatever be the actual case of Gorang Mahaprabhu, that Gorang Mahaprabhu is. That with nirvali swarup. that uh, how to satisfy bhagwan that is that kind of uh, desire is actually getting inside our heart to satisfy bhagwan so it is from infinity period this kind of this kind of nitya siddha bhav is already there in hidden uh, hidden form from infinity time inside our heart the actual greediness of of all the jeevas what is the actual name of bhajan so that in order to our our desire and bhagwan's desire can become harmonized with each other that bhajan is not an magic so bhajan bhajan's name is not a kind of any kind of external exhibition you see i have that tilak mala i can also speak pravachan that i am also having this orange colored sanyas so what you actually you are uh, doing preaching ho oh, maharaj each and every house is actually just getting priest are you just need to preach your for first you preach yourself in front of your after that if you are eligible then only you can do preach, uh, preaching uh, outside so all actually sahaji as bhakti mun thakur actually speaking that up till that point that just by doing hari naam you will not be realizing the actual actual thing 
when that kind of glorification of bhagwan uh, naam you will not be speaking in this material world then that kind of wish what each and every jeeva is getting bonded in that condition whatever kind of thing you can just speak to all them about regarding bhajan that they can't believe that whatever preaching you are doing that your preaching will not get success at all bhakti mein thakur speaking that you can do prachar that but it is actually one kind of show bottle but this preaching you will not at all get any kind of success because yourself you yourself are not at all established in naam bhajan first you just need to show the actual uh, glorification of hari naam just by slowly steadily speaking to the bonded jeeva maybe today or tomorrow they will be understanding and having this confidence that they will be just coming inside the temple and they will be thinking that uh, what is the actual procedure of bhajan and their actual uh, bhajan procedure will just get open before that it is not at all possible to open that pathway and in sadhan bhakti also if some kind of aparad is done then a lot of uh, big problem will get in front of us in order to just get established in rag varma chandra it is not at all possible other things will also not get possible with that if our that from our side that there is actually some kind of fault in our prachishtha and some kind of kapat bhav is there inside our heart then definitely whatever whatever hari bhajan we want to do and we have to do naam sankirtan whatever we are doing it will just become like a show water in front of us we will not at all get anything in our life so that's why jitan is the only decision that infinity life has gone and we are actually doing bhajan sadhan but still we are not at all getting the actual solution it is not at all possible to get the solution in order to just get krishna prema in order to satisfy krishna that is called actually prem dhan that those who don't have any kind of external property with them but they have that internal topmost property of krishna inside their heart so when inside the heart of someone that automatically that kind of whimsical that whimsical desire is actually getting taken birth in their heart is getting manifested and they are they are speaking that some kind of lobe is actually greediness is just getting developed inside my heart bhakti no thakur ji actually told this point that uh, the raganuga bhakt sadhan that is the antaranga sadhan it doesn't mean that externally also he has just left everything it's not like that internally and externally both condition will be doing sadhan internal and external both the way it is categorized internally and externally so that's why about this that how sadhan is all about about this i have if i'll be just speaking there will lot of time will go krishna das kavraj go swami pas is writing when raganuga marg in the pathway raganuga marg you will just get established in rag matam chandra you will get established two kisim ka then you will be having two categories that by externally that by externally with make say external sense organs you will be doing seva and inside your heart you will be actually doing radha govind seva all the time krishna das kaviraj go swami also speaking that is the actual kind of two categories of sadhan that external body in the sadhak body that shraman kirtan and sector of should go all the way this actually krishna das kaviraj go swami what has written so all the persons they are all foolish number 1 every they are thinking all the opposite 
that Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami is not can speak about some material thing in front of us. Huh? You just tell me. You just tell me that Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami can speak anything about material things. He can just speak about material mind in front of us. It, is it possible? Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami definitely he is actually speaking about the Aprakrit transcendental mind. Because yesterday also I was uh, speaking this point. That uh, Krishna Seva is only the uh, is only possible by aprakrit, aprakrit uh, sharir, aprakrit body, by mentally concocted ideas inside your mind. That I will be just taking, imagining one kind of gopi body. That is not at all possible to do. Hari Bhajan like that, like that kind of seva, that uh, Goswami Jan have haven't told us this kind of seva to do. Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami has just told that when bhajan when our uh, aprakrit transcendental mind that our transcendental mind and heart that chet it is actually just getting into the seva and slowly steadily by doing seva automatically inside the heart you will just get the manifestation of that transcendental nature inside your heart that what is your actual siddha deha what is actually is there in your uh, siddha swarup you will actually understand and automatically you can understand this point that about that Siddh Swarup you will that get manifested inside your heart and after that inside that external and internal both kind of both situations bhajan will be going on in that situation Srila Rupa Goswami Path is actually is what the Raganuga Bhakti has given the actual introduction there Rag means that with full Anurag and with full Preeti you have to do bhajan of Krishna what is actually special in this it is already written there. Seva, Seva Sadhan, and that Sadhak Swaroop. There is one externally that I am a Sadhak. This conception is there that externally I am in the form of a Sadhak externally. That I have just uh, externally showing that I am doing sadhan and in, in the form of a sadhak, I am doing sadhan and inside my heart that kind of uh, external siddha swarup what has got manifested inside my heart, uh, that externally I am doing uh, working as a sadhak and internally I am working, uh, I am serving uh, in my siddha swarup. Lipsu means that greediness, low. What kind of bhav? For, for whatever, uh, for a special brajvasi, that kind of bhava, that for a special brajvasi, that kind of special bhav, that I like the most, that kind of special bhav of particular brajvasi, like Shridam, Sudam, Madhu, Mangal, if any of the following, I am actually getting the taste of that special bhav of them. Or whether I am liking about Guna Manjari, Rag Manjari, whatever is there. Or like I am liking the bhava of Nanda Baba or Ishoda Maya, anyone. That kind of anurag, my heart, should get prem and preeti. It's feeling, it is feeling really well in that particular ras. Inside the heart, it looks like that Maharaj. Inside the heart, inside the heart, that kind of desire actually is coming. That why, why not me? Why I should not do bhajan? Why uh, should uh, that I should to take the particular bhava of Brajvasi and I have to do uh, bhajan of Krishna like that? And I am just getting in my fanciful desire and greediness is not. It is not at all mixing at all. If you will be mixing that, then it will be very difficult to understand. Low greediness is spontaneous, whereas your whimsical attitude is fanciful. Low greediness automatically gets uh, manifested inside your heart. There is actually no stopping or starting of a uh, low. It, it is very much impossible to get that low. What Krishna Kaviraj Goswami path? What Krishna Kaviraj Goswami has written? That. I am not at all eligible at all. I am not at all capable. Krishna Kaviraj Goswami was speaking. That uh, Srila Rupa Goswami was also writing. 
that I am actually number one foolish. But still, what to do in that? Inside my heart, that kind of love or greediness, what I am actually getting. What to do for that? Krishna Kaviraj Goswami Pad has just uh, manifested his uh, humble mood in front of us and telling that maybe that kind of uh, un- non eligibility or uh, uncapability that I am getting a lot of fear inside my heart. Krishna Kaviraj Goswami Pad speaking, just be careful that uh, I know that I am actually foolish number one. I am unintelligent and I have so much faults in me that it is not at all possible to rectify them. I know that really well. But what to do in that? That kind of greediness what is getting in my heart where I should go and where I should go. And but yours the topmost manifestation and glorification that the seva bhav that I should get that lobe in their Aprakrit Seva. What I should do in that? But uh, your glorification, whatever uh, I am seeing, that kind of greediness, lobe I am actually getting by just seeing your attractive qualities. In this, I am actually having no control over that. If I have that some controlling in greediness, if purposely you are getting some control in your greediness, then that is not at all greediness. So that is not at all greediness. That you cannot speak that it is greediness. It is actually called artificial lobe. Artificial greediness. So, the actual uh, abhas of greediness, the actual abhas and in actual lobe there is a lot of difference the actual abhas of lobe what is and what is actual lobe in that there is that there is not at all even hell and heaven difference it is infinity differences there in that some person actually asking to Prabhupada Prabhupada ji actually speaking one story in front of us that one pujari he is actually just by taking salary he is doing puja and uh, one person of zamindar that in the temple of zamindar he is doing uh, uh, puja seva and uh, every day the actual seva mood of zamindar the rules and regulation is that he, he will be just offering bananas to shalgram and very uh, very costly that kind of uh, banana and uh, dry fruits he used to offer and lot of things were actually offered to Krishna in the form of Shalgram. But that uh, Pujari who is actually so much uh, clever, he actually just went to the uh, temple inside and he is so much greedy that he will be just taking up all the bananas what were offered to Krishna. And he is uh, eating them up all. And the Zamindar actually uh, understood that so much bananas are there like okay 2, 4, 10 bananas if he is taking. Then Zamindar Prabhu has just went to the temple in order to do Dandavat. Oh, he is speaking that who is there in the temple? Who is there in the temple? Pujari automatically is actually speaking. No, I haven't taken any banana. Are, are, where is the question of covered? eating banana has come? <laughs> it means definitely he is eating banana. Just by robbery and theft. Zamindar Baba speaking that who is there in the temple? He is speaking that I haven't taken any banana. He is thinking that my kind, my theft has been just uh, arrested. So that's why Prabhupada actually just uh, speaking in a joke, joking mood to us. So this in Vaishnav Kate is written. Who actually is actually reading all this? No one, no one actually has the time to read. Nobody wants to read. Just everyone actually going here and there towards Maya. That's it. Just like a monkey, their life is. Sakha <laughs> Nigo. You know, in Sanskrit, it's bad, the Badrabasha uh, language we are using. I will not be speaking that you are money. Monkey. Sakha Vigo, you will not be getting angry. <laughs> I'll be, if I will be speaking monkey, you will get angry. 
but when i'll be speaking in uh, sanskrit so sakha bigo you will not get angry so <laughs> it's all the same no whether i'm speaking in sanskrit he is sakha bigo he is that he is monkey in english so there is actually very uh, older story i am actually remembering in chandigarh actually i was speaking harikatha there were well, lot of days before back and there there is uh, in america at that time the minister there of uh, that pres- uh, prime minister of uh, america what is his name kennedy whatever his name i i actually not remembering that so when 250 years back uh, the america has just got liberty independence and now actually it has become developed totally so previously who was actually speaking john f kennedy or what is the name i can't remember his name pre- previously what what what's his name i can uh, before that john f kennedy he is actually doing pravachan he is actually is doing uh, with pravachan and after that and he is actually speaking that abraham lincoln his name is abraham lincoln yes 50% pers- 50% of american population they are all foolish he is speaking like that in his pravachan he is speaking in his lecture that 50% of the americans foolish uh, they are number one foolish just by speaking like that all actually the mob actually speaking uh, that we are foolish we are foolish you are speaking like that huh we are foolish number one you are speaking that when i just spoke about kajendra that i am actually hathi i am elephant that i am you are actually not elephant you are more than elephant i was just laughing then after that i am just speaking pravachan in front of them i am just becoming laughing at them what to do so when actually it is spoken like that then all the persons actually speaking that we are foolish number one you are speaking ha huh? so oh, sorry 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 excuse me 50% of the americans they are all wise then all clapping came are foolish number one that 50% those who are already foolish that 50% are they are already wise this is automatic process to know <laughs> he is actually speaking the same thing but in a different uh, way so and they are actually just clapping like that so what to do in that you see so much foolish they are actually so and we actually want to do raganu ka bhajan rag varma chandri ka we want to read <laughs> such a laughing stroke and prabhupad actually speaking that madhvendra that madhvendra puri pad will never be in, he will not he is he is not at all uh, making a theft in the in the prem in the kitchen of prem but actually inside our heart we have everything money position name fame property everything we have but we have actually absence of prema we inside our life has millions and millions of rupees we can give but still there is actually no peacefulness inside us that is actually the uh, absence of absence of uh, bhav and when it is there there is absence of bhav in the bhajan then you will become kapat definitely you will just destroy your life when all our material sense organs it is just uh, for the complete satisfaction of uh, bhagwan and it is just getting more and more thirsty to do the seva of bhagwan when bhakti devi by his material sense organs it is not at all possible to do the bhakti of bhagwan but still this is the actual magic of bhakti devi that each and every material sense organ she is actually getting uh, uh, she is giving us the motivation to do seva you do you do you do like this and shivan mukhe hi jivado that the topmost person who is actually in the seva mood that topmost seven vritti if we just get uh, manifested in uh, someone that with the 100% complete seven vritti is actually just getting manifested it is very much important to get that person who hasn't understand this that with the prakrit mind what is the actual connection with our prakrit mind they will be actually speaking krishna das kavraj was am speaking in this context krishna das kavraj already speaking in this context krishna das kavraj was swami pad actually speaking on his own but you want to become god hmm. 
and after that you just want to break the rules you actually haven't understood the rules that with your prakrit mind what is the actual difference between the transcendental mind you haven't understand that and you have very big uh, uh, misconception about this kind of vichar that you have already misunderstood this point that amri about amrish maharaj in bhagavatam it is written about uh, amrish maharaj in bhagavatam what it is written it's already uh, spoken no? previously what actually it is spoken there that in the starting it is written why because if our heart is actually getting if my heart is just getting uh, steel if my maya devi has just stolen my heart then how we can do bhajan seva so that's why this heart we just need to just uh, um give it at the lotus feet of bhagavat charan because if our heart is not at all there then my heart is going somewhere else then definitely whatever pravachan i am giving that our sevan pujan whatever i am doing it is useless because our heart is not at all there it is absent somewhere so what will be done in that so that's why parikshit maharaj actually in the beginning it is written it is already written about parikshit maharaj that uske uh, baad dusra dusra seva ka mind is the topmost thing to control and just by doing the seva of others material sense organ the actual vishay of that will come ahead that uh, top most seven mukh condition that is the symptom of your aprakrit mind you haven't understood what i'm speaking that top most seven mukh bhav when your all your sense organs can dance to do seva of bhagwan that is the actual symptom and the main symptom this is a speciality of your aprakrit uh, body and mind and like this uh, your aprakrit transcendental heart that what is the pa- actual pathway of doing seva that it is already there in that aprakrit uh, heart by the kripa of pure guru vishnuv that kind of uh, siddh de bhavana will definitely get inside our heart bhavana it doesn't mean that uh, we will be just uh, running for that Uh, bhavana will definitely come on your own automatically prabhupada speaking this point to us that by your aprakrit heart inside the aprakrit heart that aprakrit siddh deh uh, bhav will be automatically get manifested it is not at all artificial it means that automatically it gets manifested that uh, we are actually just getting giving mistake in the uh, in the starting only that in the starting only we are making mistake why because at the time of diksha that you haven't done any kind of uh, uh, total surrender and you have just uh, made a top most clever decisions with your gurudev that i have just done uh, i have just done uh, wrong in the starting of the pathway only so what to do atma samarpan means that whatever you are speaking it will never be there at all inside your mind atma samarpan what do you mean by atma samarpan it means that atma samarpan ka matlab hai i want i want to be atma samarpan means that i want to control by supreme divinity i i want to be controlled by guru vishnu that is the actual uh, uh, sasha that you don't have any kind of your own thing at all that whatever you are doing that is not at all that no no bhav is there what guru vishnu is speaking are they that is the final word for them so from the starting only i am getting uh, so much uh, uh, fault and after that krishna krishna will definitely uh, 
will be just guiding that person according to that bhava it doesn't mean like that ki that person he will be just making the other the what he has a second krishna it is not like that it means that krishna what is who is actually sachid anand mai that who has already done actually atma samarpan on lotus feet of krishna that devotee he is also as is sachid anand sachid anand mai hari it means that qualitatively by having qualitative vichar that is also like uh, krishna in this uh, chit platform he can just realize that in his chit platform whether but we know the uh, actual uh, property of jivatma is sachidanand only jivatma is actually chinmay and prakashmay and anandmay everything is jiva He is Prakash Mai. He is Chin Mai. He is Anand Mai. Each and everything he is. This actually manifested in front of us. It is there in hidden form, but still get manifested automatically. That's why Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is speaking. And in somewhere place, it is written other thing. why because just by doing atma samarpan he is actually a nice devotee and after when he is a devotee it means atma samarpan will definitely be there but still it is there written that is the actual point krishna at that time like him only he will be just making the devotee is like sachidanand vigra and by this body only that by this body only that by this body only krishna will make him his body as chidanandamay and when his body is becoming sachidanand at that time that automatically his body just turned into transcendental body what you see what an topmost absolute answer it is given it means that without without guru kripa without vaishnav kripa without krishna kripa we cannot we cannot at all on our own that kind of aprakrit siddhi we cannot attain on our on our own it is not at all possible to get there is no possibility to get aprakrit chid my chid my body it is not at all possible how you will get that in the jap dharma also bhakti vinod thakur is actually telling and in chand harinam chintamani also a lot of things are actually Uh, but it is impossible for the bonded jivas to get that that's why our param puja pad keshav goswami maharaj in jav dharm has just divided the jav dharm into two parts that ras tatva chapter from jav dharm keshav goswami maharaj has just differentiated that categorized that so that normal person cannot it is not the actual vishay of discussing this topic in front of the normal people so those who are anadhikari those who don't have any kind of eligibility to do rag bhajan bhakti vinod thakur in jav dharma bhakti vinod thakur in bhajan rahasya also he is speaking that that it is not the actual uh, vishay of uh, vikar there actually everything will get finished bhakti vinod thakur speaking that where actually there is no prasang of adhikar it is totally vanquished where what will what will happen there everything will get destroyed nothing will be remaining there at all nothing will happen at all that's why shila bhakti vinod thakur in bhajan rahasya he has written adhikar if you don't have up till now you don't have any kind of adhikar you have got up till now that you are just thinking yourself as siddha 
सो वॉट विल हैपन टू हिम इट मीन्स हेयर इट इज स्पीकिंग दैट विपर जय दैट और ऑपोजिट काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग विल कम दैट वॉट आई हैव टोल्ड यू प्रीवियसली नो दैट साधन एंड सिद्धि इन बोथ ऑफ दिस भूमिका दैट काइंड ऑफ विवर्थ इफ इट इज कमिंग दैट जीव इज बिकमिंग प्राकृत सहजिया साधन एंड सिद्धि इन बोथ ऑफ दिस भूमिका दैट सी साधन एंड सिद्धि इन दैट भूमिका दैट कन्फ्यूजन इज वन जीवा इज हैविंग दैट साधन एंड सिद्धि इन दैट भूमिका देर इज वन कन्फ्यूजन वेन इट इज क्रिएटिंग जीव इज बिकमिंग प्राकृत सहजिया इन दैट केस पर पूज्य पद केशव गोस्वामी महाराज दैट हैज जस्ट डिवाइडेड द रस तत्व कम्प्लीटली एंड इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट दैट दिस इज नॉट द एक्चुअल अधिकार एंड एलिजिबिलिटी फॉर ईच एंड एवरी वन टू जस्ट टेक गेट इन टू रस तत्व एंड भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग दैट दिस इलेवन काइंड ऑफ डिविजन दैट इज देयर ऑफ संबंध that the top topmost problem in the jeevas what we are finding that all the time they are that inside their heart what kind of false ego they have that purusha akar that false ego that i am female i am male this kind of bhav all the time which they are having that i have already told you yesterday no that i have already told you yesterday you can understand no and on this point only thus by describing it in more brief discussion that i have already told that in jeevas that kind of purush that he is not at all male that if he is thinking like that bhakti mata kur speaking that this kind of purush abhiman falls ego if he is taking that he is not at all just by speaking purush that female and female conception is not at all coming here this kind of purush conception it means that purushakar purushakar means that <coughs> female is thinking that i am female and i am this female body and the male is thinking that i am this male body but what is the actual meaning behind that that uh, the what is the actual meaning of that uh, uh, meaning of this word purush what do you mean by that what is the actual the actual meaning of purush means pur means that this body it is just like a temple pure puri it's like a temple of puri puri means it's not like puri kachori <laughs> i am taking that jagannath puri that dwarika puri 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 is what in which bhagwan is all the time uh, is manifesting inside that our body is also if we are speaking puri then it is good why because inside that bhagwan is there all the time sitting in the form of parmatma inside our heart bhagwan is all the time is getting that kind of place inside our heart as parmatma so those who are actually staying in puri that is becoming purush just those who are uh, staying in puri they are actually purush they are becoming purush so that is the definition of pure dehe vasati iti purushah that is the actual definition of purush vasati iti purush ye purush ka matlab this purush it doesn't mean that he this uh, actually is male female this kind of conception is not at all there this is a wrong conception so what bhakti no thakur has told that if some jiva is just having this kind of false ego of uh, that he is a uh, uh, he is a he is a purush and he is just getting that shringhar ras then it is a total destruction for him if every jeev is shakti tatva you already know that if this kind of vichar he is having then every jeev is actually shakti tatva jeev tatva is actually shakti tatva is tatasta tatasta shakti so from where this male female everything is coming this conception so like this we are actually shakti tatva but but that kind of uh, chin, chinta the consciousness towards gurudev uh, should be there slowly steadily by just hearing from pure guru vaishnav we should go on to the actual mark we should have this kind of conception to go on to the actual mark that's why bhakti no thakur speaking that sambandh 
if uh, we uh-huh. have that relationship with gopi that gopi bhav already get manifesting inside our heart then by the kripa of pure guru vishnu and bhagwan then how that how automatically that they, by not by getting contact with anyone that you are just take, giving 10000 rupees to someone it is just like a cat and dog which are that you will be giving money to someone and you will get a gopi swarup it's not like that no it's not that cheap propad actually speaking that nirantar harinam that nirantar harinam that nirantar harinam all the time from inside your heart oh prabhu oh prabhu you say oh prabhu like this every time harinam should be there inside the heart ruposhana tane smaro rabo ragabo gopal hattu ajusro smaro smaro re this kind of kirtan where have you done it in your whole life no not at all you haven't done this in your life then how you can just enter into ragmarg you tell me ruposhana smare smar ruposhana tane smaro jodi rag bhajan karna hai if you want to do rag bhajan then all the time bhakti vinod thakur has just written in kirtan about this and narottam das thakur also has written in the kirtan so this is our actual request on your lotus feet that humble request and narottam das thakur ji also speaking the same point everything is actually uh, already told by mahajans we don't have anything to talk about it, it itself is complete whatever their pravachan of this maha mahajans are there they are actually what they are writing it is all all the time it is actually complete but still by the kripa of pure guru vaishnav in order to get that realization that vigyan if you want then that's why they are instructing us that's why it's already written in the kirtan this already have been told here this point but then after that after that that all the time you are doing hari naam slowly steadily when you are becoming naam may you are just getting deep into the rush of hari naam at that time that slowly steadily by doing naam bhajan prabhupad ji actually speaking that that automatically that inside your heart this uh, kind of uh, bhav will just get manifested automatically but the only thing is that that after getting your actual identity with your satguru rashik guru and get it confirmed by him inke dwara confirm you just need to get the confirmation that i have just got this into the dream is it true that uh, and after that sometimes inside the heart of gurudev that kind of uh, that the actual sadshishya the actual disciple of gurudev he is some uh, some kind of indication is coming regarding gurudev so, uh, both the things are uh, automatically correct so bhakti vinod thakur actually writing in jaya dharma uh, bhakti vinod thakur writing in jaya dharma that uh, about paramhans baba ji maharaj he has he has uh, that who was vaishnav das he was actually a mayavadi he has just got transformed into a pure vaishnav when he just vaishnav das has just went to baba ji maharaj and just by taking the shelter of lotus feet of baba ji maharaj one day baba ji maharaj paramans baba ji maharaj was at a madhavi lata kunj under madhavi lata kunj he was actually sitting there and he was just uh, uh, just remembering the nishant leela and automatically at suddenly vaishnav das was actually just sitting beside uh, beside means just very close to uh, gurudev and he was also doing uh, hari naam and paramans baba ji maharaj speaking that uh, you are actually this manjari this is your work so you just need to do this seva like this he has just given the actual introduction of his swarup then he can understand that gurudev actually has just uh, uh, told me the actual darshan of my swarup those who are sahajya gurudev those who are sahajya guru they who are just taking money are just throwing you the swarup it is not like that that just by taking the money and those who are just telling you the swarup these are i am not at all talking about those people 
those who are rasik sadguru they are full of madhur ras inside their heart that topmost madhur ras vipralam ras is there that kind of swarup already just get manifested inside their heart there in the heart of the disciple it can just get manifested by their kripa naturally it can be like that by slowly steadily by doing harinam inside the heart of a sad shishya that automatically that swarup can just get manifested inside that this can also be done but other possibility can also be there prabhupad ji actually speaking that forcibly you can't do that this is not the, at all the case of forcible attitude that you should have that first sambandh relationship that in which village you have just got uh, uh, got your birth and what is your uh, uh, father mother all kind of what is your age what is your relationship with others family members and how what kind of swarup and color you have and in which group you are and what is uh, what is your decoration of your body what you are that whether you are yellow whether you are red like what kind of cloth you are wearing and what kind of jewelry you are wearing just in order to uh, satisfy krishna what kind of uh, swarup you have taken in front of krishna it's what is your actual role and what kind of seva you just need to perform and where you are actually living you are living in vrindavan in which co- uh, village whether uh, karela garam or whether you are staying in javat where where are you staying whether you are staying in java ground javat javat java jab ground where are you staying in bali bali village where you are actually staying this is very much important to understand which swarup what swarup you have and after that uh, you just need to do seva after that it is possible to do seva actual seva and you are under control uh, you are under the control of which sakhi that palyadasi like the case of shila bhakti no thakur like shila sachidan bhakti no thakur ji has just given us a slight indication prabhupad ji also with a very clever mood has given this indication now you can understand that what is the actual role of rasik bhakt and i am actually foolish number 1 i can't understand my number will not come bhakti no thakur actually writing in kirtan that ajak king khuri vinod dhari shipai kya bola what actually bhakti no thakur writing lalita sakhi i am the actually the palyadasi i am servant of the servant of lalita devi that bhakti no thakur just uh, speaking with very conscious and careful mood regarding this point that she is kamal manjari prabhupad ji hasn't told his introduction regarding his swarup just giving an indication just by the kripa of vishnu brind today we can understand the what actually prabhupad is is prabhupad is nine mani manjari whether prabhupad has not told anything about his actual swarup but in the letter he has written to kunjda in that letter he is just indicating in a very artistic way he has indirectly indicating and very carefully is indicating his swarup kono ek gopololona kono ek gopololona ye bangla hai this is actually bengali that there is one braj gopi there is one braj gopi radha rani is all the time actually uh, putting her putting her in front of her eyes but where is where is she gone we just bro, just bro, just bring her just bring her where is she gone and this gopi this manjari so foolish that she is actually just going away from radha rani huh she just want to get away from radha rani so like this uh, by or by the eyes only the by the eyes of radha rani the actual eyes of radha rani that's why prabhupad actually speaking in secret swarup he is actually speaking about this swarup nobody can just uh, uh, cut this siddhant of prabhupad only prabhupad just want to be merciful on us so that's why he is actually telling us what is the name that is called nayan mani manjari so actually prabhupad so much clever you see he is just in a very artistic way explaining us his actual swarup so like this way in this way and prabhupad ji ne baat 
प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग आफ्टर अगेन एंड अगेन बाय डूइंग हरी नाम अगेन एंड अगेन स्लोली स्टेडली वेन ऑल अन अर्थ इज एक्चुअली नथिंग एन अर्थ इज जस्ट अ प्रिलिमिनरी स्टेज बाई डूइंग अन अर्थ यू कान डू हरी नाम एट और प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट हरी नाम ग्रहण दैट यू शुड बी डूइंग द एक्चुअल परमानेंट हरी नाम ड्यूरिंग इनिशिएशन दैट वॉट एवर यू आर स्पीकिंग हरे कृष्ण प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल सो श्री हरी नाम जस्ट बाई टेकिंग एट द टाइम ऑफ टेकिंग श्री हरी नाम वेन ऑल काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल डिजायर एंड विषय एक्चुअली आर कमिंग इन साइड योर हाथ इफ इट इज जस्ट गेटिंग फॉर्म दैन इट इज कॉल्ड स्वरूप वि ब्रह्म दैट बाई अनर्थ निवृत्ति स्लो दि स्टडी दैट स्वरूप इज जस्ट गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड दैट आफ्टर वेन द स्वरूप इज गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड दैट काइंड ऑफ नित्य स्वरूप automatically will get manifest inside your heart when your anarth nivritti is done prabhupada actually speaking that no one can just with the kapat bhav he can't give any kind of teachings to anyone like that if he'll be giving the teachings like that then he is definitely kapat number 1 if some person he is actually he is actually speaking with kapat bhav that you come to me i'll show you raganuga bhajan prabhu speaking that he is number kapat number 1 it is not at all possible to teach raganuga bhajan like this to anyone automatically it will come koi kisi ko no one actually with the kapat bhav can give the actual knowledge of uh, instructions of uh, rasatatva if they will be doing this kind of clever thing then they are actually kapat number 1 themselves no one can just teach uh, uh, with the with the kapat heart lot of at just by doing hari naam slowly steadily in hari naam he is getting anand topmost happiness with not forcible mood but with topmost anand he is getting uh, topmost anand by doing hari naam and he is just uh, uh, dancing in by doing hari naam with full nishkapat bhav and with full nirvalik bhav there is no kind of desire and material desire and no anya bilash anya bilash is there inside his heart and in that situation at nishkapat chintan that nishkapat consciousness only that kind of desire to do hari naam is coming why because hari naam there this is the actual glorification of hari naam what to do that is the actual glorification of hari naam that you don't need to do it forcibly it is an automatic process but uh, bhakti mr thakur has written uh, the glorification of hari nam there and actually in glorification what bhakti mr thakur has written that by just by doing naam slowly steadily all the time what actually who who has told bhakti no thakur has told no that without hari naam nothing is there all in all the four directions hari naam is there it means that bhagwan with the nishkapat bhav and with prachur uh, with topmost carefulness what kind of realization you will get what you will what the realization you will get inside your heart that it, it is everything you just don't you have to approach your guru pad padma and you have to get it confirmed by your gurudev that va gurudev guru pad padma actually you just have to ask gurudev that in the dream it is coming like this so is it good you just give me the actual blessing regarding that so then gurudev can speak that it is good or not so this is actually raganuga bhajan that is the mystery of raganuga bhajan prabhupad actually speaking that vedi bhakti is actually more prominent than raganuga bhakti bhakti mr thakur speaking speaking that raganuga bhakti is more and more prominent than vedi bhakti vedi bhakti is not at all prominent uh, than uh, rag bhakti raganuga bhakti is more bhakti but just to need to have a heinous kind of feeling towards vidhi mar that is a topmost aparad that artificial procedure it that is not at all good this kind of kapat buddhi thinking if someone actually doing artificially that is the topmost uh, aparad
नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर जी एज जस्ट टोल्ड इन प्रेम भक्ति चंद्रिका इन इस प्रेम भक्ति चंद्रिका ग्रंथ इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देयर दैट प्रार्थना प्रेम भक्ति चंद्रिका इज रिटर्न देयर एक्चुअली इज रिटर्न नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर दैट इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देयर नो विचार कोरिया मन भक्ति रस आसादन बहुत एनालिटिकल दैट द टॉप मोस्ट एनालिटिकल विचार दैट बाय जस्ट इन इफ यू वांट टू टेस्ट द भक्ति रस आसादन देन यू जस्ट नीड टू प्लेस महाप्रभु इन बिटवीन सो दैट ऑपोजिट विचार शुड नॉट गेट इनसाइड योर हार्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ ऑपोजिट भाव शुड नॉट गेट इनसाइड योर हार्ट दैट यू जस्ट बी केयरफुल बी अलर्ट एंड केयरफुल अबाउट दैट in that in this you just need to be very careful bhakti ras asadane madhasto sibhagat this already told there and in the other side of the kirtan it is written shri krishna chaitanya daya karo garah vichar vichar korile chitte paibe tum e sab indication so this is actually by all this indication by all this indication kya bolna chahiye what actually they want to speak By this way only, Shri Chaitanya Mahabhishth, Shri Chaitanya Mohan Manohishth, in order to just be successful in that, in order to just uh, make it successful, and if I am actually just removing that, if I am actually removing the actual vichar of Shri Larup Goswami, I will have thrown that away. Then, in then uh, what I will be doing? What will be the use of discussing Rag Batar Mujandrika in front of you? There is actually no usefulness of discussing Rag Bhar Muchandrika. In Bhagwat Ji Mahapuran also, Bh- Bhagwan Sri Krishna actually speaking that those who don't have any kind of attraction towards Hari Katha Kirtan, they are actually useless. Number one, their bhakti yog they they cannot get siddhi in that. Their bhakti yog cannot get siddh at all. When automatically that hari katha kirtan automatically you are getting attracted towards hari katha kirtan of bhagwan to theek then it is okay then there is no problem that's why in bhagwat ji mahapuran it is written prabhupad always used to speak and in gita also it is written nati shakto bhakti yoga susiti non nirvin nati shakto bhakti yoga In Gita also regarding this it is already written. Jatricha mat katha do, ja to sadhusu jo apmano, na nirvinno nati shakto bhakti yoga sushiti do. Bhagwan ne bola. Bhagwan already told this point to Uddhav ji Maharaj. Jiske just in the life of those that they have topmost anand inside inside their heart to hear hari katha and mahaprabhu also speaking to pradyumna mishra that that in order to hear, you have your heart to just hear hari katha kirtan that you are very much uh, uh, topmost uh, lucky it's already written in chaitanya tamrit Mahaprabhu actually speaking that you are the topmost luckiest person because you have topmost ruchi in hearing Hari Katha. You are the topmost luckiest person. What Mahaprabhu actually speaking that those who have that kind of ruchi towards Hari Katha, they are actually topmost luckiest person in this world. that in their life only that bhakti that kind of bhakti siddhi can be possible for them in that in their life that they are getting attraction towards hearing hari katha all the time they want to hear hari katha or topmost luckiest they are they are by very very topmost luck only they can get this that gurudev shila roop goswami pad goswami varg and at the lotus feet of them that kind of bhakti and confidence towards bhakti should get deeper and deeper day by day 
and it should just get established day by day just by a topmost uh, luck luck shila ji goswami pad and uh, rupanu goswami gan just in their pravachan and in their writings also but we should be paying lot of respect and automatically that respect will uh, get manifested and that kind of uh, dhara it will not at all destroy the actual rag varm of your heart those who are actually demons and asuras they have just planned that they are making one pre plan that the asur people they are actually also making this pre plan that how we just need to break that and we have to mold it and make a new molding they have just mold the siddhant but it is not at all possible bhakti mr thakur speaking that those who are acharya people whosoever is there that if they are actually just going towards a new pathway they want to open a new pathway that guru varg has not told this but still they want to open a new pathway definitely inside their heart that kind of pratishtha is there that in order to greediness of pratishtha is there that's why he just wants to show a new pathway that's why he wants to show something new but those who are actually but those but the actual point is that bhakti mr thakur speaking that if you there is not at all any new pathway uh, the pathway what the guru varg have shown that you need to follow that bhakti mr thakur actually speaking that kind of new pathway those who are actually very much busy to discover a new pathway all those acharyas and all those followers of those acharyas they can all go to hell they will not at all stay there bhakti mr thakur speaking that this kind of new pathway this kind of new pathway what is this new pathway they who those persons who have discovered that newly and this kind of new pathway and those who are actually discovered that new pathway those persons are there and their followers are also there all will actually will get destroyed by time bhakti mr thakur has just told that point it will not at all stay at all it is just for temporary purpose it will stay they will just get destroyed so that's why they will be just be doing it for 20 years 50 years they'll be just cry loudly after that everything will get destroyed automatically without any reason and bhakti mr thakur also is speaking this point on uh, himself this point in front of us that's why that's why bhagwan shri krishna actually speaking to uddhav that is only them for them only bhakti you can get uh, siddh in their life for other other people it is not at all possible prabhupada actually speaking that uh, madhur ras bhajan that uh, that to in order to get established in madhur bhav in order to get established in madhur bhav it is very much important prabhupada ji in anubhashya of chaitanya charitamrit he is he is writing that for jeevas that what kind of uh, the actual sevya the nitya uh, nitya position of the jeevas those who are actually becoming very much unhappy in that role in that condition in that way they definitely they definitely will be just uh, be getting the uh, get loss from bhagwat seva and this kind of avatar of this material life it will definitely come and introduce in his life automatically it will come he can't stop that coming madhur madhur rati mein in madhur rati if we don't have any kind of attraction towards that and no desire to do that then what will happen that automatically opposite thing what is there that material uh, uh, desires will definitely come in there either here or there both the pathways are open for a uh, jiva what he wants so lot of uh, discussion is there and prabhupada actually speaking you see that the disease which is there already in the in the inside patient and one patient and one doctor actually just speaking to one patient that you have to take only boiled food 
एंड ओनली फ्रूट्स एंड फ्रॉम फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स बट इफ टू दिस पर्सन ओनली योर विद फोर्सिबल मूड यू आर फोर्सिबली फीडिंग हिम वेरी रिच फूड दैट यू आर गिविंग वेरी रिच फूड टू हिम देन ऑटोमेटिकली ही कान डाइजेस्ट दैट definitely he will just go to the pathway of death he will just die what to do so in order to save him prabhupad is actually giving this kind of example like some patient he is you are giving very rich food and nutrition to him and vishuna chakravarti pad actually writing that those who are actually uh, uh, who is actually a patient you are giving cheese ghee A very nice chapati it will he will not his uh, uh, his uh, liver will not support at all he it is a very good food but still his uh, uh, present situation will not allow him to eat that and propa speaking that yes we are actually just getting into this material disease and if that patient will be taking very nice nice rich food for his nutrition then definitely uh, the death is there in front of him standing then for bonded jeevas that for bonded jeevas that vidhi marg is the best for them for other other pathways not at all open for them for bonded jeevas if he will be just imitating a non uh, paramhans siddh vishnav then they will they will be going against the actual uh, paddhati of mahajans and they will be doing the undue imitation of the mahajans or otherwise that the act they will be just going against the mahajans that's why shila bhakti siddhan saraswati go swami thakur prabhupad actually speaking that the patient you just need to give him a nice proper medicine the the, the diseased person should patient should be getting nice medicine and he should be just uh, uh, be restricted to some items not to eat and after that when he'll he'll be getting that healthy condition he'll just getting into the healthy condition when he will be going into the healthy condition then their normal position automatically the disease will get uh, get cut off and after that you can just give him nice prasadam to eat after that there is no 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 problem to digest that particular food prabhupad actually speaking that it is not at all like this that he is actually standing and uh, he is actually diseased and that kind of disease is he is getting fever and uh, and one doctor actually speaking that you just need to take sago that you have to take barlos barley sago you just need to take that Def, definitely you need to it because this is the actual instruction of doctor but it doesn't mean that in the just by having a drama of uh, drama of disease for whole life we will be taking segment barley prabhupada is actually speaking this is also not good this is also very bad to think like that okay you have the disease now presently you can take sago and barley but it doesn't mean that with food with due contact i will be just uh, that is my thinking that to drinking sago and barley this is also not a good uh, habit to take it after you are getting uh, out of the disease but this is also not good to take like that so like this this kind of vichar propad speaking and our guru varg has also spoken the same vichar shila vishuna chakravarti pad has already just written that uh, why why it's written like that why in the starting only he has written this why because uh, i have already started no the shlok which i have started with it's of uh, that vidak the madhav of shila rup go swami have taken That's why. That particular thing, 
if that which is uh, not at all there in the whole human civilization it is not at all given just by giving that that in kalikal that kali in this kalikal that top most merciful avatar of chaitanya mahaprabhu has just manifested that is manifested that from the dham it already just get manifested that unnat ojwal ras which we have already he don't have any kind of information regarding that unnat ojwal ras what is that unnat ojwal ras what is that thing unnat ojwal ras in order to just understand that uh, unnat ojwal ras that the actual luck in order to just uh, mold the luck of the jivas mahaprabhu that ujeshwari radharani under the anugatya of ujeshwari radharani that unnat ojwal ras in order to just uh, give that to all bonded jivas mahaprabhu has just uh, come to this material world and his uh, swayam bhagwan himself who has just manifested himself on this material earth in order to distribute that prema unnat ojwal ras ha that swarna kanti like uh, swarna kanti that kind of uh, bodily effulgence is there and his bhav that the actual manifestation of the bhav that inside the heart of prabhu all kind of bhavas are actually manifested inside the heart of uh, uh, mahaprabhu sometimes he is actually appearing in front of someone and is just uh, vanquishing him that is hari he is swayam bhagwan himself that uh, has the golden complexion and golden bodily functions and in his all body the transcendental uh, uh, prem bhav is there like you can see the chak fruit inside that chak fruit that outer portion it is full of uh, like uh, thorns so this kind of vichar if we are doing if we will be doing this kind of vichar then we gaudiya people it means those who are actually actual from the actual gaudiya mat i am not speaking about uh, uh, the false uh, gaudiya people that will be rupa rupanu in our saraswat gaudiya mat that we are under the anugatya of rupa goswami up till this point also sanatan goswami pad who is actually the guru of rupa goswami pad he is also speaking that sanatan goswami uh, that sanatan goswami wants to give his actual identification as rupanuk that swayam sanatan goswami pad also wants to give his identification as rupanuk what do you mean by that ragunath is also there jeev is there so whatever is there vishwanath chakravarti pad is also there everyone is there if vishwanath chakravarti pad is not at all rupanu then uh, by this kind uh, by the in depth vichar what he has given in front of us it is not at all possible to just write that in depth vichar all each and every in depth vichar of bhakti he has told and we can just understand by this that shila vishwanath chakravarti pad definitely is rupanu and he has already uh, show uh, told us uh, that also in the starting only it is already told that i will be just starting it today very uh, in a very small way so that tomorrow we can just uh, in detail we can just discuss sudasha sudashadi hai chokorebhyo namo namaha jesham kripa lavair bakshe ragavatmani chandrikam श्रीमद भक्ति सुधाम बुधेर बिंदुर या पूर्व दर्शित तत्रो रागानुग भक्ति संक्षिप्तात्रो बितन्नते वैदी भक्ति भवेद शास्त्र भक्त चेत शवर्तक रागानुगा चेत 
भक्तो लोभ एव अपवर्तक भक्तो प्रवृत्ति रात्रो है चिकित्सा सुनिश्चया शास्त्रात लोभा तत्चिकित्सु है सत्म तदिकारिणो तत्रो लोभ लक्षित स्वयं रूप गोस्वामी चरण वरिजलो अपेक्षते नात्रो शास्त्रम मार्ग by this in order to just manifest in front of us he has just uh, manifested in a very normal and stable form i just forgive me up till now i have to just give it rest up till this point just forgive me anarpita charin chirat karuna yavtirna kalu samarpayat mannato ujjal rasam sabakti sriyam hari hi purata sundara dudi kadamb sandipita सदा हृदय कंदरी स्फुत श्री सचिनंदन वाचकुरुष कृपा सिंधु व्यवस्थ पतिता पापन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो